Hey everyone, welcome to Win the Day. Five minutes in the Bible with me, your coach, Pastor Nat. Our number one priority is your spiritual health. That's why today we're going to talk about the prescription for spiritual sickness. A few years ago, my wife and I went on a whale watching cruise in Monterey, California. This was a bucket list thing for my wife, so I was happy to do it. We both love the ocean. So we spent four hours on this excursion, and during that time, we got to see dolphins, we saw killer whales, and even a blue whale. But let me tell you, as a Nebraska native, after that three-hour mark of tossing and turning on the boat, I was beginning to feel my sea legs give out. I was being thrown here and there, and I began to feel real ill. Did you know that the same thing can happen with our spiritual walk with Christ? It's true. But the good news is God provides the spiritual prescription to cure the problem. Let's listen to the Apostle Paul give us the proper prescription. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of the body, the church. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly. As each part does its own special work, it helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. In the previous few verses, Paul has challenged believers to become all God saved them to be. And he continues here by saying, when we lean into the change that God is doing, we will grow up. We won't be like children who can be immature and swayed easily by an enticing treat or distracting enticement. Well, what can pull a believer away from godly living? Paul says, new teaching. Well, what does that mean? Well, in Paul's day, people would twist the word of God and pull people away from the faith. It's obviously not so different today. Uh, Just go to a bookstore and look at the spirituality section. You find many religious works, including false Christian teachers. I can't tell you how many times I've been in Bible studies or even after a church service where there are discussions where people are sharing their spiritual influencers who are actually, I hate to say it, heretics. Uh, They're cult leaders and they're blatant false teachers. These people, they're being tossed and turned in their faith, which makes them spiritually unstable and frankly, sick. What's the solution? Well, according to Paul, It's sound doctrine. It's the Bible. It's going back to the Bible to see what God actually said. It's clinging to and then speaking the truth in love. You see, people think that love is blind acceptance. Uh, It's endorsement of a thought, a lifestyle. But that's not love. I actually think that's hate. Because love involves truth and discernment, no matter the cost. My challenge for you today is to come back to the Bible, to seek truth. There are many good teachers and preachers who are faithful to the Word of God. But there are many more false teachers today. So I challenge you to seek the truth. Filter whatever you hear whatever you see, whatever you read through the Word of God. Pursue truth, and I promise you, it will always lead you back to Christ.